All right, good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. Chef Tosh coming at you. Wednesday, October the 6th, 2021. And we're on a bit of a rescue mission today. We are going to try and rescue this uh, hardtop. And uh, if you watched the channel, you know it was a bit of a disaster. Last Saturday when I attempted to uh, paint and clear coat this, you can see my failure here with this huge run across the middle of... Uh, the hard top. I call it a curtain because it basically goes the whole way across. So uh, we're going to try to rectify that today. Been some discussion on the channel in the comments section that I should just try to uh, sand this out and save it. But in my mind, I think it'd be better just for me to uh, sand the entire thing down and then re-clear coat it with the product that I'm more familiar with, which is the Matrix brand AG40. I tried to spray this with a different brand of clear that had a uh, a hardener that was compatible with the weather I was spraying in or at least I thought it was compatible it was pretty cold in the garage when I spray painted this about 67 68 degrees Fahrenheit so that might have had something to do with it but I really it's kind of user error I tried to hammer on the clear coat on the uh, third coat of clear because I wasn't happy with the uh, first two coats of clear that I laid down so that's what happens when you try to hammer on the clear and uh, you're a bit of an amateur like myself. So anyway, we're going to fix this today. Uh, we're going to sand it back down to 600 grit and uh, get it back down to uh, base. I do have enough materials to rebase coat it and re-clear coat it. And as mentioned, we're going to go back to the Matrix brand of clear, which is the Matrix AG40. Um, I do like the actual uh, color of this. It looks quite nice in the sun. If you can see that, it's hard to say if you can see that in the camera or not with the sun hitting it. But it's uh, got a nice bit of metallic in it. So. Again, this is color matched to the uh, wheel centers on the uh, Koenig Rewinds that I have. So it looks to be pretty close when I hold a wheel up to it, so I'm happy with the color match. Again, it's not going to be critical because the wheels on the hardtop are obviously a little bit further apart from each other and uh, shouldn't be an issue. So anyway, let's get busy. We'll break out the sandpaper and we'll sand this back down. Again, I'm glad it's not a huge panel. It's not a highly contoured panel, so it shouldn't be too, too bad to sand this back down. Although it's still gonna hurt. All right, after a couple of hours of sanding, we are back to 600 grit and uh, looking good. I did go through the base coat in a couple spots. We're back down to primer. So uh, all in all though, I think that's the right decision to just sand it back down and get rid of that run completely so it doesn't show up anymore. Well, that's the hope anyway. So uh, next step for this is to uh, mask the bottom side of it. We don't want to get any overspray on the bottom side. We'll spray up to the edges, and uh, that'll be it. Uh, there is no issue with the bottom side, so luckily we're going to be able to spray this uh, flat this time, as opposed to hanging it. So uh, that should yield a better result in the end, I'm hoping. So the plan is to try to get this into base and clear tomorrow, but that will be weather dependent. Right now the forecast is looking okay, about 70 degrees Fahrenheit in the late afternoon so we'll try to do it then which means the car is going to have to come back out of the garage so I'm going to have to take that off of stands again up down up down up down and back out in the driveway for me to be able to paint this and clear coat it in the garage I sure like to be able to do it outside in the driveway but at this time of the year the leaves are starting to fall from the trees not a lot of bugs out but I'd hate to have a leaf land in the middle of my uh, clear coat job and ruin that. So I think it's probably safer just to uh, clear out the garage and do it in there for one last time, hopefully. All right, all wrapped up and ready to go for tomorrow. So we'll just give it uh, another clean down before we uh, hit the top of it tomorrow. And we'll make sure all our masking tape is uh, adhered well here on the bottom so we don't get any overspray on the bottom. And then we'll uh, go ahead and hit the base and clear. All right, guys, welcome back to the garage now, Thursday afternoon, and uh, we are just about to start the process to repaint the hardtop section for the uh, Surrey top on my 1968 Triumph TR250 project. Just push the car out into the driveway and have it covered up. So uh, I'm going to try attempt to take a little bit of uh, video footage of me painting, so don't make fun of my technique but we'll see if we can do a better job at painting this time, painting and clear coating than I did the previous time. It's scratched down to 600 grit. 
We'll give it one more clean down with uh, rubbing alcohol before we break out the, uh, the paint gun. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that now. We'll set the camera up and uh, you can see how I paint things in my dirty garage. Wish me luck. All right, we're going to be spraying the Matrix uh, base coat. This is uh, MPBLV, so it's a low VOC product. There is the paint code. It's this graphite color that matches the wheel centers of my wheels, or comes close anyway. This is mixed one-to-one -one with reducer. We're going to be using a uh, fast reducer today based on the temperature. It's only uh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit out here, 20 degrees Celsius. Pretty high humidity, unfortunately, is about 75% humidity, but I have no choice. I have to paint today, so we're going to go ahead and do that regardless. I'm going to be shooting it with my uh, Concourse uh, gun from Eastwood. This is a low-consumption uh, air gun. I've got a very small compressor for the home garage, so I think this takes something like 6 CFM to operate, whereas something like my uh, SATA jet gun is about 11.5 CFM to operate effectively. Got the uh, Whirlwind filter on here. Uh, we're using the decup system from uh, from Devil Bis. So we've got an adapter on the gun and disposable cup system. So I think we're pretty much ready to go. So let's get the uh, base coat mixed up one to one and then we'll go ahead and we'll shoot two coats of base.
All right, you ready for a bit of a story? Uh, as you can see, the uh, base coat has been applied. I took uh, two videos, uh, the first and second coat being applied, but uh, that's when things went wrong. Uh, the second coat of base, actually the first coat of base even, the second coat of base didn't really go on that well. As a matter of fact, there was quite a bit of uh, tiger striping apparent. Uh, so that was going to be problematic because I had no more material to work with. So uh, basically what I've done, and you're going to laugh at me, so much for the uh, color matching or the exact color matching. So I've done a bit of a blend here to get enough materials to do a couple more coats on top to fix the tiger striping. So I had a tiny little bit of the, uh, the color match base mixed. I had some pearlized black here that I used on a previous project. I'd had some silver here that I'd used on a previous, pro previous project. Can't even remember what I used that for. And then I had some factory black here. So what I did is I did a custom color combination between these four cans and came up with what you see here. And who knows how close that is to the, uh, to the rims. We'll find out in the end, but the tiger striping is gone. So I'm happy with the base coat. I don't think you can see, you know, I was trying to do in spray out patterns to see how close I could get the, uh, the color blending over there, but uh, we'll be able to see it a little bit more closely once I flip the panel over, because the panel is going to be a different color on the inside, which doesn't really concern me. We'll see how uh, close this ends up matching the wheels once I get the uh, clear coat on, hardened, and that uh, we can then do a comparison. But anyway, the base coat is sprayed, not without a huge ordeal. And uh, at this point, I just really want to get uh, this clear coated and done with. If the color match is not perfect, I'm okay with that as long as this panel is done and finished. <laughs> That's the point where I'm at. So, let's uh, let that dry for a bit longer. It's been 20 minutes, I just came up to clean my gun. So, I think we'll wait for this to dry for another uh, maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes and then we'll start uh, laying the clear coat. Again, humidity is going upwards. So, now we're up over 80, we're about 85% humidity. 70 degrees, Celsius, or 70 degrees Fahrenheit out here, 20 degrees Celsius. And a big fly buzzing around. So, uh, anyway, we'll... Uh, Lay some clear coat on and hopefully that goes okay and we don't have to redo this panel for a third time. Stay tuned. All right, clear coat time. So uh, using Matrix brand AG40, uh, which is a Euro clear, high solid clear. And we're using a medium hardener for that. So hopefully that's gonna work in today's uh, conditions. So we're just about to mix that up. It mixes two to one. I'm gonna shoot it with our same gun and we'll put on three coats and hopefully these go on okay and there'll be little sanding to do in the end we shall see first coat of clear coat been tacked off so we're ready to go
All right, coat number two is looking pretty good. It's been 20 minutes. We're just about to shoot the third and final coat. And hopefully it goes okay. Yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Not a lot of trash in it. There is some, but not a lot. So hopefully you can finish this off and we'll be happy with it. So I'll give it another five minutes and then we'll shoot that third coat and uh, hopefully be done with it. All right, just out in the garage, 8.30 p.m. We're shutting her down for the night. Um, the hardtop is now out of the danger zone, I believe. So uh, just having a quick look at the uh, wheels. And we'll have a quick look at the top. And we'll see how close we did as far as color matching is concerned. Again, this is just going to be uh, sort of a quick comparison. We won't really know until we get this out in the sun. But obviously there are the uh, graphite centers on the Koenig Rewinds. And here is the freshly painted and cleared hard top and uh, at first glance the match looks pretty good uh, like I said I'll wait till I see this out in the sun again with that custom paint blend I did it has both the metallic in it and pearl in it so it should really pop out in the sun I'm kind of eager to get this on the car but we're definitely going to wait for this to cure and set up before we do anything with it so we're going to leave it untouched for at least a few days it's going to take a little bit longer since it's so cold out in the garage for it to uh, to set up but uh, yeah, it's sprayed out nicely as far as the clear is concerned. I don't see any runs or sags anywhere. There's a few dirt nibs here and there. A few little imperfections, but nothing that uh, I'm concerned about. It may even uh, be able to go on the car as is without even being uh, wet sanded. may be able to just buff it with some compound. But uh, I think it looks pretty darn good. It's pretty shiny. It's amazing the difference between the... Uh, the higher cost clear coats, like the AG40 from Matrix, is a much better clear coat than I was using before, which was the, I think it was a pro form, I think it was a four to one. So this was a two to one high solid European style clear coat, and it's evident 
that this is a superior clear coat. Anyway, uh, so there's a look at that. Again, there's the uh, wheel centers for comparison. I don't know how this is going to pick it up in the camera, but uh, I'm pretty happy with that considering that's a custom blend. Like I said, it's going to be interesting to see the comparison of the top color versus the bottom color. Um, the bottom color being the original color that was mixed to match these wheels. We'll see how far a uh, different uh, difference in shade off we are. Again, it's the inside of the car, so it doesn't really concern me. I'm more concerned with the appearance on the outside of the car. I was actually even at one point thinking of leaving the interior of the hardtop white just to brighten up the interior of the car a little bit more. But it's gray or graphite as well. So anyway, I'm just rambling out here. We'll uh, shut her down for the night. And uh, again, we'll let this sit for a few days before we get out here, maybe get it out in the sun and have another look at it. Until then guys, thanks for watching and thanks for commenting and as always, thanks for subscribing. We will see you next time.